Welcome back to the back nine of the Solomon Center Open. Oh man, we're in for a good one here with the first round with uh, our first front nine there. Our John just tearing it up. I called it back nine. It's a front twelve. Oh well, yeah, I same mean thing. same thing, right? Yeah. Hole thirteen. It's the S curve hole. It, you could call it that if you want to. It's a tough hole. Um, the shot for this is definitely a little forehand play up to the gap there. Get right around the corner like Randy does. The further you skip right, the better. The better, yes. This is actually one of my favorite holes to play because being left-handed so easy to yeah, get up there. The cheater hand, yeah. We, <laughs> we got it, we got it. Oh, the tomahawk play. I, I don't know where that went. Tomahawks are so weird to film because they go straight up. I was thinking he was playing the pan on the on the tomahawk. Yeah. Don't Thunder slinging one out there. Yeah, he oh. had like the right angle for a skip, but just two inside. But he ended up great. I know. A little flex forehand up. This is like the worst part about the hole is the upshot. Yeah, the upshot is is pretty much forehand unless you got a really good like turnover backhand or something that flips up. But it's like you look at it and you're like, oh, I just want to flex a forehand, but you can get into so much trouble like Randy almost did. Yeah, both sides of the fairway on this is just total jail. Fowler with a really good drive, but... Oh, man. If he can lace it, then that is perfect. With the bounce to add to it. Cam this... just putting one up there. His tomahawk actually got far down the fairway. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, <laughs> you expect that. But, like, this is a hole that's not hard... But it's annoying. Because if you get in jail like Randy is, then... You... It's a it's a placement hole. Or a placement shot hole. Mm -hmm. Okay, this would be a really good bird off that tomahawk. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Thunder. Easy. So for a par 4, this averaged out to be... 3.94 for the first round. For a course that's known to be easy, shooting almost even par is kind of like, that's a hard hole. Yeah. Randy knocked in his hole 14, par 3, 296. It is a straight up shot, right through the gap, uh, forehand, backhand, whatever you can get to fly the straightest and just stop and slide up to the basket is what you want to do. It's called either hit the fairway or or die <laughs> basically <laughs> yeah hit the fairway die or get it in three Pick yeah one yeah oh, i want to show us a little low honestly gets a great skip yeah not bad especially that tree kick at the end puts him back on the fairway and in range for a putt too that's a good shot this is like nutty because you oh man you don't think of a tomahawk as like, wow, that's my straight shot, but that was pretty damn straight. That man makes it work. Thunder to throw in the forehand. And that's in jail. Oh, yeah. That's going to be tough from there. Randy, a little, a little high, but not not bad. It's going to hit the fairway. I feel like most of the backhand players are going to try to ride that right side. Yeah, it's probably for the better because you, you want to like just barely hyzer at the end. Cam with a good bid there from far out. Randy just slinging an upshot. Yep. And that's kind of like you were saying, just playing for the three if you don't make the, the gap out to the edge. I honestly think it's better. Yeah. I think this might be one of the hardest holes. Well, I can check that real quick. <laughs> <laughs> so for the first round, hole 14 averaged 3.22. Over par at Solomon. Yes. That is That is a tough hole. Very tough. And I'm pretty sure by just going to clean up whatever they got, just try and walk away from this hole. Just forget about it, move on to the next one. This is the kind of hole where you just want to be done and not <laughs> think about it. <laughs> kind of like the last hole, it's a little annoying. <laughs> exactly. So once you get out to this open field, you should be pretty happy, except for hole 16, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Fowler with the umbrella out. Yeah, he's getting some shade. Needs don't don't want to get that skin cancer, man. Yeah, you know. Use sunblock, people. Use sunblock. A familiar face, hole 15. <laughs> par 4. It's probably the easiest par 4 you ever see, but not not very eagleable unless you got a big arm. Yeah, unless you're full yeeting, 
um, all the way up to the basket, um, you're, you're basically playing for a three on this hole. And it's a very easy three. It's basically chip to chip. Yes. Fowler are gonna show us how to play it chip to chip. There was a nice easy backhand out there. Probably close to 350. Mm -hmm. You don't even really need big distance. This is. So it, oh, it catches flight. Yeah, so you can barely see it, but what, what? it does is that was a freedom in a headwind, so it flipped all the way over and flew like a normal disc. Good God. We're going to, I want to tell you the measurement once we get out there. Thunder putting a lace shot on this yeah, one. Thunder put some sauce on his, but not as much sauce as Cameron. No, that thing was, was out there. Randy? Really one of the first big backhands we've seen from him. A little yeah. low. Yeah, probably could have got a little higher, but you're not going to complain. This is such an easy up. Yeah. Nice little hyzer at it. Yep. You throw big and wide, and boom, you're on the green. There you go. <laughs> this man. I like just seeing him sit there. This is a statue still. of disc golf. <laughs> <clears throat> and this, that is the next tee pad. That is 580 feet. Oh my goodness. On a tomahawk. That is insane. See, Tyler? <laughs> <laughs> I know you're watching this. This is what you could be. <laughs> All right. Push putt and, and spin, spin putt. putt. <laughs> And Thunder, oh, honestly, man. got so far that he was looking at a an eagle. You kind of get nervous on that because you're like, well, I can get far enough down there and get the, the easy three. And then you're like, oh, I actually have a chance for a two. Hmm, might as well run it. <laughs> yep. And the only hard part about this hole is the basket. Yeah, this is the Dollar General basket of, <laughs> of the day. Yeah, pulled out the dumpster, tossed on the course. Sorry to whoever owns this basket, but it's not pretty. <laughs> Oh, Fowler. Just barely missing low there. Looked like he rushed it a little bit. Like like he didn't take his normal statue stance like yeah, he normally does. Normal Honestly, a, a four on this hole is a bogey. Yeah, it is definitely, I would say for sure, a bogey. Here it is. Oh, God. The hole 16. This thing here. Par 3, 222 feet. You got the mounds here that you got to get over, and then as soon as you get to the basket, you got about 10 feet to the right where your OB line is painted, and it curls up to the fence line there, which is also um, the OB line. It's an island hole, and it's, sorry, but it's an awful island hole. It's so unforgiving. It is, it is either get a three or miss the, the OB there. Also, that was a backhand from Cameron, by yeah, the way. first one. Didn't go OB, but that is. 100% OB. Yep. And it's such an in-between hole. I think that's why everyone has so much problems with it, because you're fighting between two discs. And OB again, looks like. Yep. And Randy tossing one. Now, this is a play I've seen a lot of people do, where they just kind of get it to the fence. Buddy overthrew it. Yep. And drop zone miss. It's not a hard drop zone. It's like probably It 40. is gettable. It's like 40 feet, probably. Oh. As you can see, Fowler and Thunder almost cash it. But the general consensus is that the OB line was so unforgiving that it just made the hole not fun to play. Yeah. Cameron. Now, was Cam in on yeah. that one? Yeah, okay. he was in. So, But it's so scary because you can see how close the OB line is. So if you hit basket or top of yeah. the basket can, and skip off. You can see where the grass ends and the gravel starts. It's all OB. It is rough. The toughest, worst hole on the course. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a fun one. Hole 17, part 3, 190 feet. <laughs> Dinky forehand. <laughs> Look at these dinkers here. Yeah. yeah, it's, I mean, straightforward hole. You just got to throw the little, the little forehand, turn over backhand with a putter. Just get it right by the basket and move on to the next hole. Super simple. Worth noting that um, all these holes from 15 to about 19 are 10 holes, I believe. Yep. Oh, almost flashed his chains there. Thunder, just the king of fake outs. <laughs> Every time I go to record him, I'm like, oh, he's going to do it now. Nope. Yeet. Little 
Oh, oh. man, he almost put it in. Uh oh, statue. I oh, know. Dead still. Let's see what he does. And just Four throws a hand. shot. And oh, <laughs> bottom that, cage. That mashed the bottom of the cage. God. And you know he's throwing some old discs too, so he's got to go look at that thing, see if it's broken. <laughs> see if it's in one piece still. He's probably throwing a disc that was made before I was born. Yeah, there was, I don't know his name, but there was an older gentleman who said, I have an ace disc from 1999. I'm like, I was born then, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the great, the man, the myth, the legend himself, William Timmons. Yeah, that's that's him. <laughs> Birdie's there. Honestly, you need a birdie in this hole. It's definitely a must get for sure. If you're if you're getting a par on this, you're definitely getting you're getting stroked out by the rest of the field. Exactly. Unfortunately, Randy is taking that par today. Everyone else is walking away. Easy. You can just see the disgust on his face. Yep. Hole 18, par three, 245. Um, right out in the open. Did we no mention bees? Nothing. Did we mention the word dinker today? Uh, no, I don't think we have. Okay, well this is this one of is those. a dinker. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those. <laughs> um, whether you want to throw straight at it, you want to throw a forehand, hyzer, something. As long as you can get it to the basket, you got an easy putt. It is literally just throw an upshot and get a birdie. Yep. There's the wide hyzer forehand. Little skip, skip there. Skip, 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 and it's there. <laughs> Nothing to it. Thunder, throwing forehand, wide hyzer. A little bit lower this time. Skip, 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 and it's there. <whistles> you almost want to ace run it, but it's a really weird feeling ace run, in my opinion. You don't really have a bat. Yeah, you can kind of see John poke his head out like he's like, is that really going to reach it? Because unless you're skipping in, you really don't have a backstop to like give it a full, like, full power rip at it. So you kind of just throw these little hyzers. Oh, man. Those all looked really close. Let's see. Cam with a bit here. Cameron's a little far. Oh, never mind. Nope. <laughs> Remember. What's the keyword? Dinker. Dinker. <laughs> and if that's your longest putt, then we're all walking away with birdies. Yes. This is just like 17. If you get a three here, you're real sad for the day. Yeah, you're, you're packing your lunch up and going home and taking your basketball yeah. with you. Is this really a star frame? Kinda. I don't yeah, know. I guess. It's a par frame in my eyes. Yeah. It's a par, it's a par two. Hole 19, par three, 246 feet. You could almost call this easy like the last two, but there's some trees that make it difficult. There's this big old bushes on the right side where if you throw a forehand hyzer in there, not fun. Yeah, it is super thick on that right side. Everything else is just straight at it. Cameron going to show us a tomahawk line, I believe. Skip, 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 and you're there. Yep. It's so all of these like, like last four holes are besides the island. And boom. Oh yeah. Putting for two. It's almost not interesting to watch these. Kind of, sort of. Because it's like, wow, another hyzer. <laughs> another easy shot. Wow. I can say, even with all the dinker holes, it's good that we were able to get all the, the tent baskets out there because this tournament was loaded. Oh, yeah. There was, a, there was a ton of people. I'm glad that they were there, but they just weren't really fun holes. Yeah. In my opinion. Randy, unfortunately, hyzered out early. Missed his butt. He's going to take a unfortunate par. And oh. Thunder heard me say left side, and he chose right side instead. Yep. Fowler and Cameron. Whoa. Oh, a little elevator action. Looked like a toin cost there. <laughs> a toin cost. Did you get it? <laughs> you mean a coin cost? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Confusion. I am confusion. True. And Randy, another unfortunate par. Yeah, you just, once you get those, you kind of have to forget about it, move on to the next hole, which is hole 20, par 3, 286 feet. It's downhill through a, not a terribly small gap, still pretty wide open, but it's definitely a demanding shot. It's not easy, but it's not hard. Yes. Because once you get the forehand down there, you either 
hit the tree and stop 40 feet or you skip to the green. Yep, exactly. As long as you don't hit anything early, of course. So just like Cam did here, he flexed it around the gap there, puts it down there by the basket. And no telling where it's at, but it's probably good. Yeah. Dead statue. Looks at his disc. Still in his hand. I love the one-step forehand from him. His form is so... You can tell it's been made through playing for so long that it's so unusual, but it works perfectly. Now Thunder put some sauce on this one. I honestly think Heiser all the way is the play here. Yeah. Rather than flex. Because then you don't bring that left side in the equation. Exactly. The worst that happens is you skip into the right side rough and then you just pitch out for a three. Or hit the tree. Or hit the tree. That's unfortunate. That's why I think the flex is a, a mean play. But it's a routine up. Yep. And Fowler, oof. Oh, he's, he's ended up in jail. So this is the part of the rough you don't want to hit, this, but you can just pitch out and have a look, apparently. Yeah, exactly. I think that man can make anything happen on the course. But if that's, like, the hardest part of the of the hole, it's not really oh, that hard. Oh, man. And Thunder went a little deep. I think he hit early and skipped. And changed what? out. <laughs> <laughs> well, he hit left side and then, yeah. like, bounced out. That's unfortunate. That's a, yeah, it's a tough break. And and another thing, too, to add is you can see some of these guys getting frustrated a little bit. Um, I think it's from the dinker holes, maybe parring out on those. <laughs> um, and, and you definitely want to get these bigger ones, too, because this is now we're at the part of the course where, you know, these are the muskets. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my bad. Hole 21, <laughs> part three. It's another straight shot. Kind of leans back in, Heiser. Yeah. But you can do whatever you want as long as you do dead straight. Yeah. And uh, don't sauce it. Yeah, don't, don't sauce it. Uh, make sure you put the right angle on this because, as you can see, the water's right there. I just kind of like how he sees a straight shot and is like, low tomahawk. That's what it is. Like, okay. And he just plankoed right down to circle one. It's so unorthodox, but really cool. And Now, Fowler, that looks like a rock. Yeah, Thunder was asking for this rock back all day. Because that is Thunder's form of rock. Ah. Okay, so the forehand play. So, it's a good one, but if you skip right, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. Maybe it's a safe, maybe it's a safe play. Maybe. Never really asked him. Now, this... Is okay, okay. but yeah. you don't want to go that way. Now you have no other choice but to lay up. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, he's laying up, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Please don't run that putt, anyone. Thunder, this is why the forehand's a little little risky, but Oh yeah. Clapping. Oh uh, yeah. You know, it was a good shot, but you don't gotta congratulate yourself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Almost made it really easy. The putting woes continue. Yeah, it's like every this first round, everyone was kind of like unable to putt sometimes. Except Batman right there. Oh yeah, except Fowler. That's 12 what, down. That's why he's 12, which is a really good score today. Very good. And everyone just going to tap out. A little upset, but what do you do? Hole 22, it's par 3, 250 feet, but we have a gravel road that plays through the fairway, kind of acts like a little river there. Um, you'll see the OB lines painted on both sides. The play here is a super, super hard hyzer. Get that skip up to the basket, hopefully give yourself a chance for the two. Um, it's a new hole to everybody. This is the first year that we've, we've done the temp hole like this, mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's a tough hole. There's the hyzer. So with this road, you would think, oh, it's very easy to skip to the bucket on hyzer. But the road kind of like eats your speed up. Yeah. And also, if you go straight, then you can land in the water. Because there is a little pond behind. Yeah, you don't want that. Oh, way that, too wide. Yeah, a little too wide. Man, he has been putting the sauce on everything today. I know, but that's in the water, unfortunately. Randy... Okay. Fowler has the right, had the right idea because if you hang it real close to those trees, your skip is probably going to take you to the safe zone. 
instead of this kind of risky area. Thunder, nothing to do but upshot from there. Yep. Cameron, also one OB. Yeah, you can see where the, the gravel kind of comes up a little bit. So mm -hmm. if you're not skipping off the middle of the, the gravel. And Randy is safe, by the way. He's on the water's edge. But he and is a safe. huge bid there. So. Statue. I won't spoil it, but no one birdied this on round one. No one. And that's... Maybe that's, the course heard, heard something yeah. about us saying they're a bunch of dinkers. Yeah, this one, this is... <laughs> this is one like, <laughs> it, you're like, oh, it's so short. <laughs> but it's not easy. It's not easy at all. I think if that gravel road was grass, you would see twos because you'd skip up. But Yeah, you'd get more of a flare. Even if it was a river, it, you'd still see a lot more twos. But just because you lose so much speed, you're you're not gonna see him. Camera, unfortunate. Yeah, you might have. Like, what do you do when you go B? Yeah, it's it's tough. Hole 23. How do I say? Very eagleable. Yes. You kind of there's two plays. You either lay up to this little bench area and you take your three and walk away, or you go huge backhand hyzer the outside. Just full mash. Absolute match. Right over the tree to the right there, and, and and then you get the skip up too, which which works really nice. Although it is risky because if you turn that shot at all, it's a big lake. Yep, massive. We're gonna get a little rain action, but not too bad right now. Yeah, I'm glad the weather held off for us all day during the first round. And followed played it perfectly. That's not OB, is it? Nope. On the bench, okay. Nope, those benches are in play. So Randy's swinging a little bit wider. And that's safe. It's a good shot. This is the alternate play. So I'm guessing he's going to play for the bomb hyzer over the top of everything. Hyzer. Oh. He doesn't throw back in. Sorry, Tom. Whoa. Thunder a little sawed off there. So honestly, it's not the worst play to go to that left side, but here you go. Oh, my God. Um, so there's a spotter who was sitting by the bucket, and he screamed, It's parked! <laughs> <laughs> so even though Thunder saw that off some, he's still perfect. Yeah, this is what I was saying. Perfect it, shot. It's not a bad play to throw that really overstable disc, because it's so easy to get to three. It's really starting to come down now. Yeah, just a little little Randy spicy. with a... The big bid, but he's not going to get it today. That's a good bit. The little right side, though. And was there any eagles first round? I don't believe so. Okay. I think most everybody just walks away with birds here. You would think 437 with with a lot of the big arms out there, someone would get there. Yeah. Also, that's where Cameron landed. Goodness. That is nutty. Great birdie to finish out there. And Fowler. I'm going to clean up this easy star frame for us to end the day. 13 down. Wow. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Make sure you catch round two coming out tomorrow. We got some good stuff coming. Very good stuff. See y'all tomorrow. <laughs>